Right, just tried some uh, stainless teg with uh, solar flux. As you can see, there's no real uh, oxidation on the inside. Uh, nice flat uh, bead. Uh, the bead form really nice as I was welding as well, which usually happens when you do a gas purge. You can just feel it's a bit different as it's uh, sinking in. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Like I say, it's solar flux. You uh, mix it with methanol and paint it on on the inside uh, just to prevent the oxidation on the back side of the weld. And it's come out really nice and really uniform and flat with the inside of the pipe. No sort of obstructions or anything, anything to clear away. Really happy with that. Just on the V band. Just to excuse it being in the vice, I just want to sort of hold it as I uh, am videoing it. You see the beads come out quite nice. Uh, could be a bit more uniform. That's good enough. Yeah, fairly happy with that. Here's the other side of the uh, a joint of that V band. Um, the other flange, if you like. Uh, yeah, V come out pretty nice. Uh, just using the TIG. Uh, I've got a 1mm 308 wire on there, so I'm using uh, for a filler. And uh, painted some solar flux on the inside. So it's quite a good product, really. Uh, saves a lot of uh, wasted gas, if you like. Apparently, used to use it a lot on aircraft stuff. Don't know how true that is. But um, as you can see, the, the beads uh, not pushed through too much. Uh, no sort of oxidisation on the inside. Uh, there's a few little punch throughs, I guess, just where I went a bit too heavy on the uh, dipping the rod. Probably a bit, little bit too much heat. But uh, most of it's quite uniform. Uh, most of it cleans away pretty easy as well. So yeah, fairly happy with that.